You have no idea what you have done. Solus? I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here, but why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. Right, you were innocently doing nothing when we came along. The prison in which I had trapped them had begun to crumble. I was moving them to another. So you weren't tearing down the veil and drowning the world in demons and wild magic? I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago, but I am certain you will be fine. We stopped you. We'll stop them. I had a ritual dagger of pure lyrium. My network of mirrors could take me from the lighthouse across the world in moments. Right now, you seem to have neither. Do you intend to knock over a statue during their ritual? Well, I don't intend to take advice from the elven god of lies. Quite right. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Tear down you the veil. Listen. No. No. You have no idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric, you're okay. But I saw Solus stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. I don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. The world isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like your impulsive rescue of those captives from the Antam slavers. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole soulless mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. 
Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rogue. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade. Because that's what we needed. The dream world. Then I really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. <laughs>